morning, morning. Today is June 25th, day 86. Today's a special day, because today is my wife's birthday. And uh, <laughs> uh, happy birthday, baby. I miss you. I wish I was with you today. And uh, you're gonna have a good day. I hope you spend it doing what you love, playing pickleball with a, a pickleball crew, and friends, and family. And I'll be thinking about you all day today. I wish I was there. I love you. So today, we're gonna try to get 20 miles in. Uh, the skies are a little different. A little clouds early in the morning, so see how that turns out. But yeah, onward. Happy birthday, babe. Today is a different type of day for me out of here. And the weather is different too. Kind of matches my mood a bit. It's a bit cloudy. Sun hasn't come out really. And it's kind of, it's just, it's not gloomy, but it's actually decent hiking weather. But, it was a beautiful sunrise because of those clouds. Incredible sunrise. And I stood there and watched it. I thought about it. Thought about my wife. It's, it's her birthday. Yeah. Sometimes you think maybe I should be there. You know, what am I doing out here in this silly hike? You know? I know she'll have a good day. I know. I've got too many good friends at home. Cheryl's probably gonna make her a cake. Or her daughter Carissa. Or both. They'll probably come over and G D may come down. And of course Schwa, T Money, Goose, and Maybe Kenny and Nikki and Lang and, and John, both Johns, Cheryl's John and Tracy's John, all great people. The kids be there, I hope. And uh, 
Have a good party. I'll be there in spirit. Yeah. Sometimes you just miss everyone. They're out here wandering around in the woods, man. I miss everyone. But yeah, I'll be there. I'll be back. And I know they're gonna throw a good birthday party for you. And happy birthday again, baby. And uh, I'll make it up to you. I love you. I suppose up at the top of this little pass we just climbed. It's just crazy. Well, say it's about 12.30. Uh, I think I got about, I have to say we, 24 and I, 24 is a little way back. About 13, 14 miles in. So, doing okay. Um, if you've uh, watched any of my videos or if you've watched this one, <laughs> you know that pretty much an emotional guy. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. You know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't tend to hide him anymore. I guess I'm just too old to even worry about that. <laughs> wasn't always that way though. I, it's, sometimes I think it's a little more so just being out here, the environment, the physical, you know, pounding and work it's just uh yeah it's all it's raw and for me pretty much takes everything i got physically emotionally mentally to do this so it's right there on the surface that's that's all i can figure but you know what maybe it's not such a bad thing i think it's probably a good thing. Might be good for all of us to, you know, do that. You know, why do we grow up learning to hide them anyway? What's the point of that? I don't get it. I don't get it anymore. But hey, yeah, well, uh, Highland Lakes that way. I'm at a junction here. So anyway. That's my thoughts on that. Sometimes I think 
Yeah, you know, I'll edit that post out, and you know it's. But then, ah, why? Who cares? All right. Yeah. All right. I gotta find a place for a little break. Have myself some water and a little snack. And you know what the snack's gonna be this time? This may disgust some of you. Spam. <laughs> yeah. One of my faves. for the last hour. Steady push. Two miles. Or a little more. A little, I don't know. But to reach this saddle. I'm getting close. And it's an incredible view up here. That's for sure. But the real payoff is going to be what I understand, what I read, far, far out at, is up in the saddle. I just might have some cell service. And then I might be able to call my wife and wish her happy birthday. Well, I made it to the pass. It's windy up here, but I had cell service. And I got to call my baby and wish her happy birthday. So, it's a good day. We hiked the whole day uh, together. We lost the rest of the crew at about, I don't know, 24 what time, about 10.30 or something this morning. Yeah? And uh, they took a, a long break. We had taken a short break right before then and, and grabbed a bite to eat. And then we caught up to them and they were breaking. So we'll continue on because we just had a bite. But we haven't seen them since, so. They'll roll in. There's a big camp area just below us here. 
I think we did about 21 miles. Started hiking at five this morning and it's finished at 4.30. So it was a big day. And I think we gained about 4,600, 4,700 and lost about 4,700. Yeah, I don't know, it was just up and down, you know? So yeah. And it was kind of a rough start for me, a bit of an emotional start, as you probably know if you're watching this video. My wife's birthday and all, and uh, missing her, thinking about her and my family, friends, and neighbors. And, uh, but I bounced back. I feel good now. Got a hold of Steph up at the pass up there, FaceTime her, gave her a happy birthday wish. And, uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling good. Got a, did a big day, and we got another big day tomorrow, and another one after that, and a few hundred more, I don't know, <laughs> whatever it takes to get to Canada. Uh, they're all big days, but yeah, another good day on the PCT.